Researchers at the University of Minnesota desperately need volunteers in an effort to find a cure or vaccine for COVID-19. The medical school is looking for people who have tested positive for coronavirus or have been exposed to those infected. Our Jeff Wagner talked with one of the project leaders who says that they are making progress. There's this tremendous sense of urgency to um, uh, to get things done. Dr. Tim Shacker is the vice dean of research at the U of M's medical school, which is studying three drugs to combat different stages of the coronavirus. The first involves hydroxychloroquine, an anti-malaria drug that could potentially prevent infection. The U needs 1,500 volunteers who've been exposed to infected people, such as healthcare workers or family members of a patient. You want the people that are at highest risk for getting in the infection, and you want to see if this intervention prevents that from happening. The second study involves people who have tested positive but don't require hospitalization. Those volunteers could be given a blood pressure medicine called Losartan to treat their symptoms. And there's some clinical data out of Wuhan, uh, China, to say that people who are on this class of drug may have actually done a little bit better. Dr. Shacker says the relentless effort to find a vaccine or treatment reminds him of the 1980s HIV outbreak, only this time scientists are better prepared. We know how to uh, design a study more efficiently now. We know how to ask the right questions more quickly. They just need more volunteers as soon as possible. And we need to do these clinical trials. They've just got to get done. The third trial involves patients who are currently in the ICU. And it's at hospitals like Hennepin Healthcare where researchers are directly connecting with potential volunteers who tested positive for COVID-19. They need 2,000 of them for the Losartan trial, and enrollment has just started. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO4 News.